Hello. I pray that you are well today. Tomorrow, another Sunday, another little resurrection day, another little Easter. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. The truth is, for your life and my life, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is not just a one-day event. It is the reality of which we live our life and our death around. I want to remind you of what you know from the book of Acts. And this is in the very beginning. Acts chapter 1. Then the apostles returned to Jerusalem. This is after the ascension of Jesus. From the hill called the Mount of Olives, a Sabbath day's walk from the city. When they arrived, they went upstairs to a room where they were staying. And those present were Peter, John, James, Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas son of James. They all joined together constantly in prayer, along with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. In those days, Peter stood up among the believers, a group numbering about 120, and said, Brothers and sisters, the scripture has to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke long ago through David concerning Judas, who served as a guide for those who arrested Jesus. He was one of our number, and he shared in our ministry. With the payment he received for his wickedness, Judas bought a field where he fell headlong, and his body burst open, and all his intestines spilled out. Everyone in Jerusalem heard about this, and so they called the field in their language al that is, the field of blood. For as Peter said, it is written in the book of Psalms, may this place be deserted, that there be no one to dwell in it, and may another take his place of leadership. Therefore, it is necessary to choose one of the men who have been with us the whole time the Lord Jesus was living among us. Beginning from John's baptism to the time when Jesus was taken up from us, for one of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection. I end up choosing one by casting lots, but the most significant phrase on this purpose is this statement. For one of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection. You see, Jesus' ministry, Jesus' teaching is not just ethical, not just do this, don't do that, be this way, don't be that. It is about the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, which therefore means because he lives, we shall live also. I don't know how many more days any of us have, but we do know we have forever with Jesus. We are a witness of his resurrection. It is a defining reality and how different it fundamentally is to be a Christian. Consider it. All faiths reach up to God in some way. I'm going to do this and you're going to come and help me. But God reached down to us. Jesus came incarnate, Bethlehem, Christmas time. And now Jesus gave us what we couldn't do for ourselves, the cross, the empty tomb. We too are witnesses of his resurrection. What makes Christianity different is the tomb is empty. It's empty. All other entities have tombs that are full, but not Christianity. The tomb is empty. That you and I have the confidence as we are witnesses of the resurrection, not just the power for this life, not just the reality of historical fact, but it's the hope for our days and our future and our eternity. Please pray with me. Lord God, maybe we, may we be witnesses of the resurrection of Christ. May we be empowered by it and strengthened by it and encouraged by it and lifted up by it. May we know the value. May we understand the truth and may we live in it. In Jesus' name, amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah.